So what are the dangers and how do you avoid them? Well, joining us now is former detective Jackie Haynes and dating expert Joe Barnett. Welcome to both of you. Um, this sort of steep rise is incredibly worrying, isn't it? Um, what sort of things can we do to protect ourselves? Yeah, when you're when you're talking to a stranger, the first thing really is to use your intuition because you don't know who they are. And for sure, which I know Jackie's going to say, if you, you meet in a public place, you don't let anyone into your home and always have a conversation on the phone first so you can get to know them, you can feel comfortable um, and just ask a few more questions, just not rush into meeting all in sundry. It's, um, I suppose, inevitable, really. But if you are judging on one photo and maybe a couple of lines of biography, that you're not going to know what you're getting into. No, exactly. And uh, a lot of the dating apps in particular, you've got a very small space, if nothing else, for that very small amount of information. You don't even know if the photograph is genuine or the information is genuine. Um, a lot of the apps now use Facebook you have to log in with your Facebook profile so they link through to other applications where you have even more mm. uh, personal data. So it is, um, it's about building up, a, as you were saying, about building up an instinct for it. Um, my daughter's 19, she's here with me, and she um, has started to build up an instinct that perhaps I wouldn't have done because mm. I wasn't brought up with that, with that around you. But I suppose the numbers must go up because the, 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 uh, it was a newspaper, a national newspaper, obtained the figures from 30 police forces in England and Wales, and then there are only 43 of them in total. It found that the number of cases linked to online dating apps was 55 in 2013, um, but rose to 412 last year. Uh, reports of aggression and sexual crimes were the most common, 253 allegations of violence, 152 of offences uh, such as rape, grooming, sexual exploitation of children. Now, is it a case that those figures are rising because of the amount of people Mm. who are using dating apps. That is on the rise I would, as well. Yeah, I would think so. I mean, we we're talking about sort of it, within a very short few years, going to millions of people now using this. So the proportion is very small, but the risks are there. But also, it's not just it's not the violent side of things as well. There's also people getting cash from you, using your money, not looking for love, but looking for your bank balance as yeah. such. And there's some common things that people will say, reasons why they might need to get money out of you, mm. things to look out for. What sort of triggers would you say? Well, it, it's about asking for some, some money, maybe, you know, building up a, a rapport straight away. And sometimes they're over keen almost. Um, and whilst that can be incredibly flattering to someone who's let down their guard and is trying to look for been on their own for a while, they're, they're more likely to trust someone and, and, and the fact that they're, they're being groomed by you know someone being flattering and, and sometimes it's like it, everything else in life is it's too good to be true, it probably is. Well, if they start asking you for money, that's the first alarm bells. Time and time bells. again on here, we've interviewed people in sort of desperate situations because their heart overruled their head. And they fell head over heels in love with someone who then said, well, I need a bit of cash, I can't meet up with you unless, and they've got this problem, and can you pay for that, can you pay for that? And before they knew it, they lost all their life savings. Oh, okay. and, uh, and, that, and that was you know, one, of the, one of the things that we've said, you have to be very, very careful of the, of the scammers. The other thing is that you be very careful of the website that you start off on in the first place. Mm -hmm. Yes, and coming back to what you said earlier, you know, it, it's not even so much the website, it's using your instinct and trusting, you know, who, who you're actually talking to. But you should vet the website as well. Yes, there, there are websites that um, do a bit more vetting, um, some, of, some of the bigger ones are perhaps a good place to start. Um, but the other, the other important thing is to find out a bit more information on the person before you know before you, you go back to that. Well when you when you match, a lot of them if they're online, you can see if they're on Facebook and you can see if you have friends in common. So you could actually do a bit of research. And also the questioning about money, if someone's asking you, you know, where do you live? So what's what's the size of your house and what card you that is a complete red flag. So any questions like that on a first or a yes, second that might be on your Facebook page, you might have pictures of your house, the car you've you just shouldn't. Bought. I mean that's an entirely different thing altogether, isn't it? I mean you're putting up a shop window for yourself thinking it will attract a date, but actually you might be attracting the but also on the on the subject of that shop window, a lot of those dating sites will put up um, a bit of padding. Yes, so they'll put up someone you be, be aware of someone who is overly attractive, overly successful. 
overly athletic. Mm. Yes, they will, uh, as you say, pad out, make it look like they've got lots of successful, very attractive people who are desperate to meet you. Um, and I think that some of the things that should flag up with you is, is perhaps that they haven't got very many people linked to them. If, uh, and you can search photographs and Googles and to see where else they appear. Oh, so if someone's so stolen a photograph from another profile to create a false profile. It's really it's complicated, complex, isn't it? It is. And I think you have to go into it with your eyes open and read the terms and conditions. Get a feel for it. It's like going into a shop and thinking, this place is a bit seedy. I wouldn't shop here. You know, you've got to sort of get a feel for it and, and read That's the terms and look at the privacy settings and everything that you link into. Joining us now on, uh, on Skype is Susan uh, Hulbert and uh, and she, this is you know, one of the extremes of, of things that, that, that can happen. She uh, signed up to a, a dating website in 2012, found someone that she liked, didn't kiss on the first date, a gentleman at first you say, and then what happened? Um, basically, after dating for a few weeks, we spoke for a few weeks first, um, he ended up attacking me. Um, and this wasn't what he appeared. He treated me like an absolute princess. Um, took me out, said all the right things. Um, and then one night showed his true colours and got you quite nasty. You said that um, you'd been going out for a little bit, and uh, and he was still getting text messages from the dating website. It was when you questioned him about those texts that he was getting that that's when he got violent and you, it, 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 not just a case of turning from a gentleman to uh, to, to a personality that you were not expecting mm -hmm. and he seriously beat you up it is yes and the, the, uh, the picture is horrific and we've got a we've got a picture here of, uh, of, of your eye i think he broke he break your cheekbone he did um he fractured my cheekbone um, to the point I had to see a plastic surgeon. Thankfully, um, I didn't have to have any surgery. And how do you feel about um, going on a dating website ever again? Is that it for you? Are you would you always stay away? Um, there are positives for it. I do have the reason I joined a dating website in the first place. I have two good friends who are found of um, separately on there. One is now buying a house with her partner, and one's just had their first child. So. It can work. Um, I think the problem is anybody can join them. They don't ask for any um, details about who you actually are. You can put an email address in. Anybody can join them. Susan, can I ask um, you if you, looking back on it, saw the warning signs but ignored them? Um, it was a weekend. Um, it actually started a couple of days before. Um, I was spending the weekend with him, and on the Friday night, I actually did. Um, but quite stupidly, he was walking a quarter miles away where I, where I went to stay at his. I didn't drive. I would have left then, but uh, quite stupidly, I, I stayed. So um, it's a, a salient reminder as to the sort of thing that can happen. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for calling us, sharing your stories. And, uh, and I said that the, the, the bottom line uh, in, in all of this, what you've been saying since we started talking, is do your research. Treat this seriously. Uh, absolutely. And, and that was all about your instincts, wasn't it? That was about she had a feeling that she wasn't quite safe and it's about building a relationship whether you find that person in a bar or at work or on a dating site it's the same process once you've met them isn't it the different difficulty is with dating websites is that they are so instant and we're so used to quickly making that contact well i suppose really it's like standing on any big busy street corner anywhere in the country and uh, and going um uh, i'll pick you yeah uh, would yeah. you go out yeah, you wouldn't do that, would you? Yeah. In the same way as you wouldn't get into a car with somebody, you know, after a night out that you didn't know. It's it's that instinct, you know, and build it. And you know, ultimately, all the websites are are fantastic, and you can meet and you know your soulmate and have a wonderful relationship as a result. I wouldn't want to frighten people, but just, just be careful and have yeah. little um you know little checkpoints in your mind and say this this and this is all going well for me and have a wonderful relationship. Thank, Thank you. Both. Thank <laughs> you.